South African-based Zimbabwean businessman Mutumwa Moyer has filed a constitutional court application against President Emerson Nangagwa, accusing him of having used the seizure of his companies to position himself in ZANU-PF's factional fights to succeed the late former President Robert Mugabe. In a notice of intervention filed at the Concord last Thursday, Moyer said Nangagwa played a major role in the hostile takeover of Shabani Mashava Mines SMM, holdings through the reconstruction of State Indebted Insolvent Companies Act, blamed by many for destroying several companies. Government took over SMM management through the reconstruction of State Indebted Insolvent Companies Act and appointed an administrator, Arafas Gward Zimba. The law was enacted by Mugabe to allegedly protect SMM from legal action and the attachment of the company's property by local and foreign debtors. But in his notice of intervention Moyer said Nangagwa must come clean on the act citing Section 2, 1, as read with S2, 2, and S85 of the Constitution that entails intervening parties to approach the Concord to provide evidence exposing the president. The application is concerned about the alleged breach of the first respondent's oath of office when he refused and failed to take any action including ordering the investigations of the remarks that the second respondent made on his knowledge regarding the first respondent's direct involvement in the decision to use state power for political purposes or more precisely to position him as the successor to the late President Mugabe in an alleged major political fight, Moyer who is a self-actor in the application submitted in his affidavit. Moyer, SMM Holdings Limited, Africa Resources Limited, Africa Construction Limited, TAP Building Products Limited, Friends of Shabani Mashava Mines Trust are listed as intervening parties 1 to 6. Moyer filed the notice of intervention after a Harare man, Tiche Onamupasiri dragged Nangagwa to the Concord over his appointment of Patrick Chinamasa in 2019 as director and chairman of the embattled Air Zimbabwe arguing that it was inconsistent with the constitution. Mupasiri said at the core of the application was Nangagwa's actions to the affairs of SMM Holdings, Private, Limited, SMM, Air Zimbabwe, Private, Limited, Air Zim, and Huange Colliery Company, HCCL. He cited Nangagwa and his lawyer Edwin Manakai as first and second respondent. It is astonishing that the first respondent, Nangagwa, admits knowledge of the facts in the cause yet is unwilling to assist a member of the public and this court in shedding light on when he got to know the facts about SMM reconstruction, in what contest, from whom and why he was involved, Moy Rata. It is not clear how the first respondent who claims under oath would be fixed with the knowledge of a private company's indebtedness to an imaginary creature called the state. To the extent that the first respondent alleges indebtedness, such indebtedness would have been common cause between the alleged creditor and debtor. With respect to SMM's shareholders, they are not aware of any indebtedness of the company to any creature called the state. It is clear that the first respondent is implicated directly in the SMM matter hence his deliberate attempt to undermine the due and proper administration of justice using this court as his trusted and predictable weapon.